Yeah, we'll do it right. We'll do it right around here. Hello, everyone, live from Chapel Hill once again. My name is Nathan. I am one half of your Hill Brothers, and this is Toy right here beside me. We are just now getting out of the North Carolina 2024 spring game. As a matter of fact, you know what? We got the bell tower right here behind us. So, let, you know, let's, let's start walking that way, and let's talk about this game today. Uh, a lot of conversation coming in to the game. We talked about it all this morning. The quarterback battle was the biggest question mark out of everything. And uh, what did you what did you see today, Tori? That uh, out of that. Yeah. Tori would say that you found your player. Everybody thought, including you, thought it was. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, man. The first two passes, 65 plus yard bombs for touchdowns and tight coverage as well. Uh, one read right down. Uh, to, to Chris Culliver, deep ball. Culliver is just in front of his defender, and Connor put that ball only where he could get it. Uh, touchdown right there for, for Culliver and, and uh, Connor Harrell. That was his first pass. And then the second one being a uh, just a, a quick slant by Nate McCullum. And McCullum just had his defender beat and just ran that sucker all the way down for another. That was a 68-yard touchdown right there. Um, thought he was really good on his decision making. Only missed one or two throws, maybe. I thought that he could have done a little bit better on. Uh, but outside of that, Connor showed off his, his, his wheels that he could run. He showed off. I mean, his, that was the first play. Oh, yeah. The first, fir play, first play that he got. Uh, Max Johnson did go out number one. Uh, he was the first quarterback out on the field. Uh, we tried to keep everybody updated on the Twitter as much as possible. And with that, I, I did updates as we went. But uh, Max Johnson had some moments when he looked good, but honestly, a guy that just didn't look comfortable at all. And uh, I will say, Jeff Collins, and we'll get to the defense right here in just a little bit, was throwing some, some definitely some different looks. I don't think you saw all of his tool bags, but I think you uh, did see a quick little glimpse of what Jeff Collins is going to bring to the team uh, this year in the defense. But uh, wide receivers looked really good. Paul yeah. Billups. Number 11, thought he did really well today. Uh, he ended up having him, uh, I think it was a touchdown from, uh, was it from Connor? I think it was from Connor, as a matter yeah. of fact. Yeah. He had one from Connor. Uh, Jordan Ship, great pass in, in, in connection there from Connor as well. And, uh, no, sorry, Billups was from, I believe that was from Max. Max did get that one. But uh, a couple of throws Max threw, I thought was really good, you know, on key and on, on point. Deems May, number 88, the walk-on tight end who had to start in the bowl game against West Virginia. I thought played really well today. I thought, I thought he looked really good. Uh, to be a walk-on in 
you know, and a, and a power four, I guess you could say now school. I thought he played really well, and uh, he showed that he might be able to give you some some minutes he if needed. With, with yes, he played a lot with Max. Yeah, couple of snaps. Max keyed in on the yeah. Games a lot. Yeah. Uh, for those slants and uh, outside breaks to the timeline. Uh, so he, he does a really good job. Not to take away from Max, he did what he was supposed to do, mm -hmm. especially on the reads when uh, the uh, defense was coming in, closing in. He made the right throws, he made the right decisions in a certain plays. So, I mean, you can see the experience yeah. coming off of him. I mean, he looks like he's played college ball before. So. Yeah, he definitely did. Uh, I thought the running backs. Uh, Amarium was out there just for a little bit, which we figured looked amazing. Darwin Barlow, number twenty-four, uh, came out there. That's the that's the transfer from USC. Uh, he came out, and I thought, in my opinion, he made himself immediate QB two. Uh, Jordan, I'm about to say Jordan Louis, um, Davion Goss, Bullet, uh, played really well. I thought. Uh, I think he could definitely use, you know, that that year of of sitting behind, uh, you know, Amarian and also. Darwin being those two being the, the most senior here. And uh, but I did think he did show some really good bright spots. He's tough. He is fast. He is definitely tough. Um, but I think he could use another year, you know, just he could use this year to just work primarily on uh, getting better, getting used to the college system. But I thought he played well. Uh, offensive line, tell me what you thought. Uh, the first one, the first team offensive line that went out there did really good. Uh, yeah. Howard Simpson, I believe the hype, the hype is real. Uh, that's a big guy, and uh, he played well. He played very he did, well. He did play well for a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. there. And he, he was he didn't play too much. Yeah. Um, but he showed what he had, and they got him up out of there. But the offensive line, that 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 group looked really good. Yeah, uh, I thought, and they they had uh, Janai Norwood out there playing. Zach Grice saw the field today, um, but I did think that the blue blue team O line looked really good. Yeah. In my opinion, um, you know, curious to see how that continues to grow. But Randy Clements is doing a very good job over there uh, in in that O line room, which we kind of figured when he came in that that was that was going to be the case. So uh, good to see that that room is playing fairly decent. Yeah. Uh, but now let's flip over to the defensive line. What did you see out of that? I see some sparks. I see some sparks. Uh, I've seen I've seen where you know. Some of the uh, DBs got in the backfield. Uh, a lot. Kind of tricked the uh, uh, wide receivers and uh, got in the backfield a few times. Uh, there were some sack plays, but, of course, it's a spring game. Can't really hit the quarterback. But yeah. the defense did get in the backfield, which is, you know, it's kind of a concern. Maybe, you know, the offense should read that and, you know, or the quarterback should make adjustments. Mm -hmm. But, uh Overall, it was decent, and I've seen some sparks. I've seen some good potential out of the defense. Yeah, uh, I felt like, and they've been talking about it all all offseason, that uh, Jeff Collins has really built this defense to disguise well, and he brought pressure in areas that you are not used to seeing from North Carolina. Stick Lane found himself in the backfield plenty of times today. Amari Campbell got back there. Uh, obviously, Bo Atkinson, I thought, had a great splendid day. I, I tell you, man, I like that kid the more I see him play. Malachi Hamrick, uh, a guy who unfortunately had to miss all of last year due to an injury, played extremely well, in my opinion, when he was out there. Um, I really do like the additions of uh, Tyrone Stewart, number nine. Uh, that's the Juco that came in, and I thought he played pretty well as well. Uh, Amari Campbell played awesome. And, um, oh man, there's one more I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Travis did have a little – I don't know if it was a stinger or something. He did he did hit the ground, and uh, he was holding his arm, and he, you never saw him for the rest of the game. I kept an eye on him on the sideline. It didn't seem like it was a major concern throughout the coaching staff. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking maybe a stinger and just like, you know what, let's sit you down just in case nothing else happens. Did, did you see anything out of Shaw that, you know, was surprising or did you didn't really see too much out of Shaw? Um, I saw a little bit more aggression in him for sure. Um, still want to see him win the matchups. Um, still question about that. There's a lot to prove that, you know, there's so much you can take out of a spring game. And I'm curious to see how that ends up shaking out, but, uh, we'll see. He's got the potential. He's got the body. You can definitely tell he was pretty hyped for it. 
uh, which is good to see. You want them excited and, look, you know, going after it. And um, I'm, I'm curious to see how that does. But defensive line, in my opinion, still has some work to do. Uh, one of the biggest problems that they still have, the outside run. The outside zone run killed them today against the running back. So that's where Darwin Barlow, Major Bird, which I think is an amazing name, by the way, um, Amari Hampton when he was in there, also Jordan Louie. Jordan Louis. I keep saying Jordan Louis. He's not. He didn't play today. Jordan Louis didn't play today. Uh, but Davy Hahn Goss, uh, he got to to play a lot, and they they really keyed in on that outside run a lot today. So uh, Carolina's got some work to do in that in that world. Um, got to get after it on that side of the ball. Um, you know, got to stop the run. I felt like they did pretty good in the passing game. You know, I felt like the corners played tight. Will Hardy, even though he was in a yellow jersey, did have a pick six where he just read the ball perfectly. He's just – Will ran, and he just looked like he had an extra quickness. I've never saw him and play with an aggression and tenacity, and I thought he really put that on the select, especially on that pick six. Um, and that was off of uh, Murdinger, which – oh, I mean, I, need, I want to talk about Murdinger for a second. I think North Carolina – I know we have Bryce Baker coming in next year. But Mike Merdinger is going to be an, a, a guy I believe you're going to keep an eye on because I thought he came out and played really well. You know, read the defense really well, made some good decisions, threw some pretty balls, man. Yeah, he, that ooh, dude, it was yeah, – towards the end. Yes. Toward, uh, yeah, it, it was – that was on time and on target for Mr. Merdinger. You can see why uh, maybe he was immediately named QB3 over Tad Hudson. So uh, I even thought that Mazon, number 13, the like the walk-on uh, quarterback, I thought he played pretty decent myself. Yeah. But um, a lot to learn. What's your what's your overall view about North Carolina going in to this little brief period of offseason, I guess you can say, until we get ready for fall? Uh, I like what I've seen. I like what I see, and I like that there's an upside. The potential is, is great for these guys. I mean, the wide receivers was phenomenal. I mean, you wouldn't hardly drop balls, to be honest with you. I'm going to be all the way honest with you. Yeah. And uh, I like the quarterback competition. Uh, I like the offensive line. They, they look great. Uh, the defense has the potential. Uh, and I, I want to see more. You know, this is exciting because of the coaching staff and yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with uh, this team moving forward. A lot to still be worked on. There's a lot that has to happen before, you know, I can say that this team is, you know, a, a contender within the ACC. Um, but I think they're on the right track. They showed me some things. Uh, they, they showed me some, some definitely some improvements in some areas. And uh, I'm curious to see what happens, you know, going forward. But uh, really looking forward to seeing what happens in the fall. I'll be back to see this big, beautiful bell tower very, very soon. And, uh, man, we absolutely love the, the area out here, man. It's just fun. And uh, now it's time to take this long drive home. Man. We're going to have some fun. So, um, anyway, thank you all for watching. We're going to get out of here. We appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. And, as always, go Heels.